Welcome to Frontierland at Camp Sylvan. The Sylvan Conservation Program at Camp Sylvan is the longest running residential outdoor conservation education program of its kind. Today you'll see conservation education staff with students working and showing them in an active way about nature and ecosystems and the life around them. In there. Awesome. Okay, the colors are standard. No, and the So you're looking before you empty the contents of your neck. You're looking at the view. All right, and when they're finished with the water, when they've taken out as much dissolved oxygen as they need, they push that water back out of their abdomen. So what is that equivalent to? It's like jet propulsion. It's equivalent to farting. <laughs> All right, so that's how they move. The bark actually looks like burnt cornflakes glued onto the tree. So burnt cornflakes, B, C, taking the first letters of those two words, you have black cherry, black cherry B, C. So black cherry. And it does produce a little tiny cherry seed that the birds absolutely, absolutely love. Hey, Brad, this one. Why are these amphibians so slimy, do you think? Because, because it's an amphibian. Yeah. It's an amphibian, they breathe through their skin. They have a really thick layer of slime on the outside of their body. It's mucus. mucus. Just like, yeah, mucus, just like fish, which, which helps keep them, to keep them protected. So we don't Eat have as legs. many bullfrogs around here as Ontario once had. Mm. Right now, at night, you hear all kinds of frogs and toads calling. Mm -hmm. he, started, he will start to absorb those chemicals into his skin. And we know from doing chemical testing over there of, of the parameters in the water, can animals live in water bodies that are polluted by chemicals? No. no. Um, this area is called frontier land, which for obvious reasons it was named so because of these the, the frontier type of, of chuck wagons we have here, the barn, we have a building behind us called the, the Frontier House, which is our dining hall. We have some students here that are joining us for the day here at Camp Sylvan. We have um, overnight visits, two night visits, and full day visits, and a full day visit starts at 9 o'clock in the morning and runs right straight through until till, uh, 7 o'clock at night. The students that are here with us today are just enjoying a well-deserved lunch break. Um, they've just participated in a Go Wild survival program which focuses on food chains and ecology of this area. So this is the larva, it's the juvenile, it's the young, and if we didn't have clean water here, we wouldn't find them here. So, if we were all aquatic biologists and we saw a bunch of these, and I've seen at least 10 today, would you be able to hypothesize that this water was clean or not clean? Clean. 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 Uh, get a Metamorphosis. So they how do they start off their life cycle? How do they start off their life cycle? Yes, sir. Eggs. Eggs, an egg. Then uh tadpoles.